What's going on people? It's the Xbox 448 and I am bringing you my basic vinyl designs and let's get right into it. Today we're going to be dealing with basic vinyl shapes, alright? And that's the apply a vinyl shape at the very top. I know they have manufacturer's decals, they have load a layer group which I'm going to talk about in another video. And then they have insert all from the right left side which we're going to use that at the end of this video. Because what we do on one side of the car, we're going to go to the other one, we're going to act like we're putting a vinyl, but we're going to highlight insert all from right left side, and it's going to switch over as well. So I'm going to have whatever I do on one side on the other as well. So um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of different vinyl shapes, gradients, flames, tribals, stuff like that. The curated groups are actually um, vinyl groups made by other xbox live players and stuff and you can't share your car if you use those so we're not going to grab those we're going to grab that square right there because we're doing with you know basic vinyl shapes and we made the square black uh go through the the options here you rblb to go through the options there's move there's size there's spin skew and transparency now move pretty much speaks for itself you know you move it up down left right diagonal on the part of the car that you're working on all right when you switch over to size right will make it wider left will make it thinner if you go up it'll make it taller and if you go down it'll make it shorter and I want to spread this across the complete side of the car all right so that's what I'm doing right now um, I'm gonna show you a little bit on the spin when when you go to spin you can actually spin the entire vinyl and uh, I'm going to show that as soon as I go through all this. And here we go. Spin. You can actually spin it completely around if you want to. Um, I'm going to put on a little tilt to follow the car's like natural flow. Uh, I am going to make it bigger. So this way, it, you know, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the car. And, I mean, it's a real basic two-tone right there. But um, it is. It's two-tone. Now, what I want to do is I want to make a black line and have the bottom of the car a different color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the blue button, which is cut. If you notice, like I said, always check the bottom of the screen for any added options while doing this. So I'm gonna hit X to cut. It's gonna put it in the clipboard in the top right hand side. Now, when I hit Y to insert it back, it's gonna insert it back, but the, the vinyl's still also gonna be on the clipboard. And I can hit Y as many times as I want and keep layering that vinyl onto this car all right um as you can see here the vinyl's on the car it's still on the clipboard i go and i go to add another vinyl i hit y and i have two vinyls right there and what happens is it layers one on top of the other so the one on the right is on top of the one on the left and that's how vinyl layering works the ones on the right are always on top of the ones to the left of them and to show you this is true, I made the top one yellow, all right? And now what I'm going to do to show you that the black one's underneath is I'm going to click on that, I'm going to change the position, and I'm going to drop it down um, a couple notches. So I hit change position real quick, and then I just drop it down a couple notches, and you'll see a black line start to form above it. And there it is. And the reason why is because that black vinyl is actually underneath the yellow one. And that's how this layering works. All right. Not only that, you have ways of moving multiple vinyls at once. All you have to do is hit the right trigger on one of um, one of the vinyls, and you'll see uh, you'll see it get highlighted in the right corner of the box. It'll be a little orange, like triangle. Okay. And when you highlight one and highlight another, you can cut. You can move. Um, you can do just about anything you could do with a single vinyl with both those vinyls together. And watch, I'm going to move this around right now. And as you can see, they both move together now. They do take up two spaces, but I can move them as one now. All right, then not only that, but I can go over to the other side and put what I put on this side of the car onto the other side of the car by hitting that insert all from the right left side. And these are the basics for vinyl layering and I'm gonna keep getting um, a little more involved and a little more detailed in the next video I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, definitely let me know